All right, test, test, test. <clears throat> and All right. Hope you guys can hear me. Just realize I don't actually have a way to test and see if my audio is working on stream. Or do I? Um, all right, test, test, test. I've got the stream pulled up on by the screen. If someone wants to respond in chat, that would also help. Oh, no, I can hear myself. Okay. All right, cool. Now I'm going to mute that stream. And close that tab. All right. Sweet. Okay, so um, I, uh, if you saw the, saw the event on Twitch, um, what I'm, I'm working on uh, is to, I'm switching over to a new help desk platform. <clears throat> I just run a little consulting business to do some small business support here in Eugene. Um, uh, because I wanted to find a platform that had an API um, and Freshdesk does. I'm not sponsored um, by them or anything. I'm not endorsing them. I just, they have a free model that has an API. So I'm going to give that a go. Uh, see how it works. And of course, you know, after I signed up, they sent me an email said, hey, you should sign up for a paid plan. So, um, let me give you a quick idea. So if you have or haven't used Freshdesk before, that, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's a help desk system and they've got, it comes with a bunch of uh, built-in tickets. So this is what we're going to be trying to, we're going to start with getting tickets well, a, we're going to start with authentication, obviously, uh, or maybe that's not obvious. Uh, there is authentication in building an API module, usually, should be. Uh, okay, so uh, the Freshdesk API docs um, is what we're going to be working through. Um, I have done a little bit of legwork doing some research on or getting the first API call to, uh, to work to make sure I wouldn't uh, spend a lot of time on that today. Um, so essentially, uh, we can actually, I'm going to skip all this uh, boring stuff and we're going to skip right down to authentication. We're going to be focusing on, if you haven't built a REST API module before or use that in PowerShell, we're going to be using the uh, invoke REST method command. But I'm going to build a, <coughs> build a module around that so we can get a, uh, have a command that just does get a uh, fresh desk or get FD ticket or um, other information. Uh, I haven't really dug into it a lot yet, but that's what I wanted to start with. Uh, so for the authentication, uh, it's a, it's, it can be a little tricky because, for instance, they've got uh, the documentation has um, uses curl as an example. Uh, and if you're not familiar with curl, like I'm not familiar with curl, <laughs> I uh, may have used it a couple of times following an installation demo, but that's about it. Um, but w I had to look up and see what the equivalent. Uh, so, for instance, here for curl, zoom that in a little bit. Uh, for curl, they have the dash u parameter, and that's for the user. And they say u API key colon, and then uh, the password. Uh, and for them, for fresh test specifically, and they're all different. I haven't worked with a lot of them. I've worked with a couple, and they are different. Uh, but for fresh test specifically, you pass uh, the API key colon and then a dummy password, any set of characters, supposedly. Uh, but what does that look like in PowerShell? Um, I, I do know that it is passed as a header, um, and, and invoke rest method command that does have a header parameter. Um, I did a little research, uh, so we're not going to spend time uh, trying to figure that out. Um, the header here uh, in curl, um, in basic authentication, because uh, in the docs it asks for basic authentication, uh, it passes that header as the authorization header uh, with the with the word basic space and then uh, that username colon password string in base 64. So that should demystify it for you. Uh, and so th the method I'm using for my module is to have one commandlet that does all of the uh, API work. I'm calling it invoke fresh desk API call. 
And a couple of strings we're gonna be taking is the Uh, the URI specifically, uh, and I'll, I'll add more details to this later, the, like a parameter block, and any other parameters. Uh, let's go headers. Whoa, it's not actually a type string. Headers. Uh, and well, actually, we're going to stick with just the URI for now. I'll probably come back and add to that because um, I, I have built modules like this in the past. Um, I got one for PowerShell or one for PowerShell, one for. Um, eBay one for PayPal, uh, and I did not use a separate invoke uh, call command that did all my API stuff. And you end up writing all of the the API stuff for every single command that when you could do it just once. So this is a little new to me. Uh, so if I I screw up on something, I'll I mean I'll, you'll you'll see actually. <laughs> funny funny how that works when you do a live stream. Um, all right, so here I'm actually going to switch back over uh, to the docs. Uh, so we got timestamps. So if we end up doing a filter uh, for timestamps, um, that'll come in handy. Okay, cool. So this is actually what we wanted right here. Uh, except, so I'm just going to call this base URI equals. Oh, interesting point. Uh, so this is actually going to be unique for. Uh, for everybody. Okay, that's a so we'll have to actually have uh, some kind of module um, configure something that has the uh, unique uh, domain. So I'm actually going to let's see, call it domain. I have another string called domain equals. And mine's how will it? At least I think it is. Uh, if we look here, yeah, LIT that fresh desk. Okay. Uh, so the base URI, and then to start with, we're just going to call. We're going to have a headers, uh, and the headers parameter in invoke rest method is a, a hash table. So that's why I've got the at and the curly brackets. So we've got authorization. Oh my goodness, authorization equals. Actually, probably use double quotes. Basic space, and then we're going to have to base this uh, base64 encode our API key. All right. Um, and uh, here on line 14, I'll ultimately take that out of there once I finish developing this uh, because obviously not everyone's going to want to query my help desk. In fact, no one else will be able to <laughs> because they won't have my key. Okay, so, um, and then base64 encoding, oh crap, um, actually, you know what I'm going to do, I do this a lot, actually, uh, uh, copying code out of other modules uh, that I have done, or that, let's see, I think I did it in the eBay module, or that someone else has done, so, uh, learning to do the OAuth authentication in a REST API, I actually looked at someone else's module. Uh, which is not cheating because it's free information, which is why I release all of mine, or all the ones I can anyway. Sorry, I'm just looking up the base64. There we go, base64 string. Okay, in this case, we want API key colon. Call it dummy, actually, come for our dummy. Uh, dummy for a dummy password. Okay, so we got basic space encoded API key. And so, um, the last thing was, of course, invoke rest method. Oh, come on, why isn't it? Tell us that's working. I always forget if it's URL or URI. We'll call it URI and come back to that if it's different. All right, method. Um, oh, good point on method. URI, we're going to need to go string method. That's going to be important because that's going to be different for different command lines. And this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and 
Uh, let's see. Print. Oh my goodness. You can tell I haven't actually done enough with VS Code to actually get all these snippets correct. Um, oh, it's actually, I want to do validate set. Not, let's see. Validate set. So get post. Um, actually, we'll start with get and post. Uh, and I will, um, as we add in other functionality, we can uh, add more methods there for our invoke rest method. So I'm just call that method. And I'll make this my chair. My office chair slowly sinks down as I sit on it, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, string URI, why is that? Oh. Okay, so that should look good. Uh, so now we have our base URI. So our actual URI is going to be base URI slash. What is the nomenclature for each of those? Um, resource. Aha. So we'll call that. So method, URI method, string resource. Okay, so base URI slash resource. Method, method, headers, headers. Okay, so I believe, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this, load it into the session, I believe. This will work, let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna flip back over to Freshdesk. So, um, so first thing we're looking at doing is getting a single ticket, and at some point we'll get back to, uh, well, if we got time today, pagination and that sort of thing. Uh, so a single ticket, a single ticket. There you go. Oh, create a ticket, uh, view a ticket. Well, we need an IT, or excuse me, an ID. So we're gonna stick with view all tickets. That's what we're gonna start with. So we got tickets as a resource and it's a get. Okay, so we should be able to do, let's see, invoke, Fresh desk API call method get resource. Oh, I've got that my my clipboard. Then API key and hopefully I don't end up. Um, if I do end up actually showing this to you guys, I can just reset it. But what I did API key. Oh come on. I thought I put it in a text file in C temp. We're about to find out. Cannot find path. Okay, uh, unauthorized. Okay, so let me let me double check that. I got I got a second screen. I'm just checking my my API. Oh, uh -huh. I called it FD API. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm <laughs> a little surprised. It worked the first time. All right, sweet. Okay. Um, awesome. So now we have our tickets. Um, and you can see here this uh, first ticket um, from, this is the one that I created, so subject test ticket, and the rest of them um, are all of the other ones that they created. Wow. I'm going to take a drink. That was a little surprising that it actually worked the first time. Okay. Ah. If anyone watching actually has any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will continue to just uh, have my own commentary about what's going on. Okay. Uh, oh. You know what, actually, what I wanted to do? That I, ah, crap. I was going to... I was going to do this in PowerShell Core. All right, well, we're going to try that again. We're going to do it in PowerShell Core. It's even better. It's even better in my, well, I'm kind of used to Windows PowerShell, so it's, it's, it will get, we will be better. It will be better. We'll leave it at that. I like it and am working on using it, which is why we're going to try this again. Invoke, I don't think I have anything in here that's Windows PowerShell specific. Ooh, maybe the encoding? Huh? We'll find out. We'll find out. Invoke, fresh desk, API call. Let's see, what are we doing? Let's see, method is get resource. And all, all this these um, parameters that I've got set up here, I will be creating 
why am I even talking about this? We'll do, we'll, we'll visit that in a second. Resource. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, can't type today. Resource tickets, API key is get content, C, temp, API key, or no, no, FD, API key dot TXT. Bam. It works, okay. Hope we're using PowerShell Core for this module. Uh, okay, so I am going to go ahead and commit this. Let's see. Um, uh, first invoke API call commit. It works. Okay. And let's see. Let me go get this out of the screen here. PS Fresh Desk. Okay, cool. So. Uh, the first working ones, I just pushed it up to GitHub. If anyone's watching actually wants to take a look at that. Or, you know, at some point, I'm probably going to have this on YouTube afterwards. Uh, so it's there. And the link, uh, again, it's up here, github.com slash theposhwolf slash psfreshdesk. Um, okay. So the next thing is ultimately this module, um, so I've, so what you see on the left here, this is just the scaffold that I've I've got for just the basic build with Pisake. Um, and uh, eventually the invoke fresh dress API call, that's gonna be its own private uh, commandlet. Right now it's public just because during development it makes it a little easier. Um, so we're gonna build a get fresh desk tickets. Sweet. I did not expect to be doing this so soon. Function get refresh as tickets. Okay, so ultimately what we're gonna be doing is invoke fresh desk API call. And let's see, this is going to be method get resource or oh did I actually called it URI but then I changed the name to resource and never removed it okay well fix it now okay uh, so so method get resource is in this case tickets yeah s still had it on my clipboard okay okay excuse me okay so um so actually, uh, one thing I'm going to do here on invoke fresh desk, I'm going to say, I'm just going to save myself some time, get content C temp FD API key.txt. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it like this, load it into my session. Uh, and I'm, do I'm doing that just so I don't have to constantly, or every time I call it, type in the API key, because ultimately, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a save API key function so that we can save the API key into the register. Oh, no, this is, oh, interesting. Okay, so this tells you a little bit about how I've been developing modules in the past. They're all Windows PowerShell based. Um, and so they've been saving them into the Windows registry. And since we're doing PowerShell core, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, okay, in the meantime, so that took care of that. Uh, so no parameters yet. Actually, this should work just like this without any parameters and return all of the tickets. Ah, it does. Okay, cool. So, so now we can get all of the tickets. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the, the what it returns. And, I mean, it all looks... Well, let's do this. I want to do is I want to see dot created underscore at hook. So it is actually come back as a date time. Oh, okay. So invoke rest method actually does quite a lot uh, besides just uh, converting it from JSON. Uh, and you know what I was just thinking about? Oops. I don't know that I actually. 
Oh, sweet. Uh, just checking checking Twitter real quick. Uh, okay, so now we can get we can get our um, get our tickets. What other information are we gonna need? Um, can we create a ticket or create an outbound email? List all tickets. That's what we did. We did list all tickets. Uh, so let's look at filter tickets because that's that's one thing I wanted to look at. Okay, so we got so we have a different resource and we got a different query or view a specific ticket. Actually, let's I want I want to add that in as well. Okay, so we got the ID. Uh, so we got ticket slash ID. So um, does ticket ID four? Okay, so it is just a really easy ID. Okay, so if we wanted to, so let's add commandlet binding default parameter set name equals none. Does that work? I don't remember if that works. Um, no parameters. Okay, so default param Okay, I don't. I don't know actually how to declare that if there are no parameters in the default parameter set. So we're gonna skip that and we're gonna say um, int. So ID appears to be an int. I don't know if it an integer. I don't know if it says anything about. Because uh, sometimes you can find out if the ticket ID specifically um, what type of uh, data that is. So ID is a number. Okay, cool. So so we can say int id let's see and we're going to call this uh parameter parameter set name equals by id okay cool and then what we're going to do is resource this might actually change Okay, so mm, okay, so let's see if ps bound parameters dot. Oh my goodness! Um, I always forget the parameter set name. It's not parameter set name here, is it? No, it's not. Okay, and again, we are going to pull up one of. Parameter set name. Oh, ps commandlet dot parameter set name. Okay. ps commandlet dot parameter set name equals by id. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll have an else in there. So if it's by id, then the resource is actually going to be something different. So resource equals so it's going to be tickets slash or I need to use double quotes there ticket slash ID and it's tickets plural yeah else resource equals uh, no not, not that tickets okay so now we should be able to get fresh test tickets or uh, let me actually add it to my session. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, get fresh test tick at. I'm going to leave the S on there for now. We'll come back to that. <laughs> All right. So we should say get fresh desk tick at ID four, right? Okay. That didn't. Uh, didn't this is an ID six? Did I grab the wrong field for the ID? No. Okay. My ID. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll fix it if I actually use the variable that I'm creating. Okay. Uh, so now ID equals four. So we should just get one ticket that looked just like one ticket to me. It does. Okay. Sweet. Uh, okay. And these again, these aren't these aren't actually any of my clients. <laughs> in case you're wondering, uh, this is all just the test data that they have built into it. So I didn't have to create a bunch of test tickets, thankfully. Well, I, I created one anyway, just to see how this worked. But that's about it. Um, okay, uh, so we've got a ticket by ID, and it looks to me like it actually brings up more data that way. Um, and I've I found that to be true with some of the other um, some of the other. 
uh, some of the other sorry I'll actually finish talking here before I start typing some of the other mod uh, some of the other APIs I've worked with so for instance if we go tickets which has all of them and we pipe that to uh, where dot ID equals and we search for ID equals four uh, we can look at this one we can see that there's there, it doesn't have like the description uh, description text yeah okay so that, I mean that's good that's good to know yeah, so description, description. Okay, so cool. So you can list out tickets, but you don't get all of the data. So that's, I mean, that's good to know with working with it. Oh, oh, something else I really like doing. This is mostly for my own reference. Um, when I, here we go. Um, I personally um, like to put, like to put a link to the docs uh, that are specific to uh, each of the functions I'm working with, uh, just in that in that file, and then ultimately. Uh, with my build process, it will be sucked up into the um, module files as well. All right, so we'll get fresh test tickets. So we got by ID. So that's, I think, the only other thing that, that personally um, that I needed with this API, and we, of course, can, I'm going to probably dive into some of this, is uh, to get time because uh, I use it to track my time. So what we're going to do is we're going to find ticket ID for or really just any of these. We'll look at vintage labs out of stock. Um, is there a way? Oh, ticket three. Okay, so we're looking at tickets three. And something else that's cool is you can notice that up in the URL that, that it's very similar to the API URL instead of API, it's A. Uh, probably for app, I don't know. Not a web developer, just full disclosure. <laughs> okay, uh, so for instance, what I wanna do on this one is I want to, um, Oh, it tells you how much time I've spent in here so far. Uh, so first, I'm going to assign it to me. Update. Okay, properties updated. So actually, let's see what that looks like. So we have tickets where I'm just going to ID equals three. I wanted to see if it shows up uh, in the whole list out. So ID three. Company responder priority group email escalated. I don't see an assigned to. But if we do get fresh desk tickets ID three, okay, so here's, oh, it actually gives you, whoa, a lot of the text, that's awesome. That's awesome. So if we needed to parse that for something, we'd be able to. Oh no, did it not? Responder ID, oh, okay, interesting, okay. Um, so what that tells me is they track all the Am I, am I a responder? Let's let's find out. So it looks like they use an ID to track people, which means they probably have, they do have an agent's user ID of the agent. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's, before we get to that, we're, it's a track time. We're probably going to have to track the ID for each user. So let's build a get fresh desk agents. Okay. Uh, before I do that, uh, let's see. Initial. I always have a hard time coming up with the right thing to say in these comments. Uh, let's see. Now we're tickets and temporary API key off disk okay cool so I'll go ahead and commit that and i'll go ahead and push that so if anyone watching wants to check it out online it's now there okay so let's create a let's see get fresh desk agent ps1 agents okay so this is back to the do you call it singular or plural probably should have figured that out before Okay, let me think about it for most of the other API or modules that, let's see, get the, yeah, okay, so, yeah, yeah, I should change this. I'm going to change it now before it becomes a problem, even though it already is a problem, because I'm sitting here and worrying about it. Okay, so rename. I'm just thinking about other modules, like the um, Azure module, get VM is just, is just singular, okay. Um, we're going to skip the agents and just uh, push the changes for get fresh desk ticket. Rename to be singular. 
Okay, cool. They'll get fresh ice agent. Let's. Uh, you know, uh, if I remember correctly, oh, and I'll push that last change as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, agents, list all agents. We probably are just with no parameters, right? Oh, they do have filters. Did I miss that for the tickets? Hmm, okay. We'll have to come back for that for the tickets at some point. Uh, maybe not today, but okay. Uh, so we just, it's slash agents. Okay. That makes it easy. So let's just uh, invoke fresh dash API call method get resource uh, agents, agents, agents. And you know what I just realized is I just committed this into the uh, into, okay. I'm actually going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to copy this into a text document. I want to get it out of the... Uh... Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to get it out of out of Git, because that doesn't really do anybody favors. Let's see, domain... Well, we'll stick to the same FD, domain.txt. Okay, actually I'm just going to... Let's see, removing some personal data. Yeah, it's kind of personal, but it's not. Whoa, 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 did I not save that? Save. The following file, would you like to save it? I'm not committing that file. Okay, commit anyway, because it's not getting committed. Okay. Okay, cool. So now let's actually load that in as well. Okay, so back to getting our agents. So this is the really cool thing. Am I, did I, why is that here? There we go. This is the really cool thing, in my opinion, about having a separate invoke rest, uh, in, invoke API call commandlet, um, is that this is literally all you have to do to create a new, um, a new commandlet for a, well, I'm saying that and I haven't actually tested it yet. Let's, uh, okay, what's going on here? Okay, I seem to have this problem when we're using VS Code with PowerShell Core. Occasionally, it does doesn't do anything. Okay, so we'll just dump it and restart. I don't know if anyone else has seen that, but uh, let's see. We should be okay because we can just simply get that loaded back up. Get fresh desk agent. Okay, cool. And fingers crossed, it doesn't return any personal information about myself on the screen, even though I don't. I think the only thing it's got on there is um, oh great okay phone numbers sweet okay so I'll remember to edit that out when I before I put this up on YouTube um, okay cool um, nice well that, that's really cool because we got um, ID so now what we should be able to do is if we go get fresh, oh, I gotta add that back into my session. Get fresh desk ticket. So now if we go get fresh desk ticket ID, uh, do I sign, I signed it th three to myself, right? Is that what responded? I'm actually not sure what responder ID. You know what? This is where you reading the docs comes into play. So attribute, uh, Responder, ID the agent to whom the ticket is been, has been assigned. Okay, so that is, okay. So now, so let's just, I'm just gonna, so let's call this variable three equals. Does that actually work as a, eh. All right, cool, so dot responder ID. So now we can say get, or, oh, no, no. My agent doesn't get it by ID yet. So let's add that in. Uh, so we'll do again command let binding. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to do it with um, uh, 
Oh, I've got a fly in my face. Figure out how to do it uh, to where the default parameter is set is none. Uh, parameter set name equals by ID. We'll keep it really simple here and just say ID. Okay. And then again, if ps commandlet dot parameter set name equals by ID. Uh, let's see, resource equals, uh, and I'm guessing here, agents slash ID, and of course I will verify that before we actually run it. We go down to agents and we get a view a single agent, yep, slash ID, okay. Um, so else resource equals agents. Okay. And I'll even remember to say, switch that over to resource, awesome. Okay, so then if we add this in, so now we should be able to say get fresh desk agent uh, ID equals three dot responder ID. Bam. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we now we can get the agent. Uh, we now can get the tickets. And I want to be able to track time. Okay. Okay, that's that's my goal. If someone else has something that they'd like to see done on this, let me know. See assign two. Okay, so here I'll actually zoom this in a little bit for you guys. Let's see, we'll go to one twenty-five. Uh, more. Close forward. Add note. Can I add note? Go to. Okay, I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to add time to this yet. Can I really not? Oh. Activities. Well, okay. Um, maybe I can't track time. No, I'm, I'm looking for something that returns the amount of time. Oh, I might have just screwed up and found a platform that doesn't actually have <laughs> doesn't actually have uh, time tracking. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Oh, time entries. Okay, so there's time entries. Track time spent by each agent on resolving tickets. The ID of the agent. Okay, so we can get time entries, but how we add that, because I'm obviously not going to go into PowerShell every time I do work on a ticket. So maybe this type of ticket. Okay, let's go back to... Okay, so I did create a test ticket. And this was created via email. So this is the typical ticket that I will be dealing with. Maybe edit ticket details. Crap. Question incident. If I call it an incident, I can track time. Wow, this ended up being a lot less uh, PowerShell for this part. <laughs> uh, can I add time? Edit. Subject. No, I cannot. Wow. Response due, due in. Okay, so maybe I gotta spend a few seconds and uh, uh, find out. Let's see, fresh desk track time. Online time tracking, keeping track of the times. Oh, you know what? I've got this in another window. I mean, it's, let's see. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. So the free plan doesn't let you track time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that means that I'll be looking for something different. Okay, well, in the meantime, I guess um, we can still we can still work with this. Uh, fresh desk. Okay. Uh, well, that sucks. Okay, let's see. Agents. Oh, that really sucks. Kind of blew everything, everything that I wanted to do out of the water because I wanted to then sync it to Airtable. I don't know if you guys have used Airtable, but I sync a lot of stuff in there. Maybe. Um, I believe. Oh, you know what? Before I, crap. Okay, so that just showed you my API key if you saw it. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll make sure and reset it. Um. 
I believe there was a free trial for the plans and billing. Let's check it out. Okay, nope. Nope, since I started a free trial on the free plan. Oh, that sucks. Oh, maybe it is worth it to update. Let's find out. Ugh, 20 bucks a month. Yeah, I don't use it that much to make it that worth it. Oh, I'll just track time separately, I guess. Okay. Well. That should hopefully get you started on... It's not end up being uh, two hours like I expected. Uh, but that should hopefully get you started on um, uh, working with APIs and some of the... Uh, some of the authentication, uh, which can be fairly difficult. Um, like here, let me let me show you what my so for eBay, for instance, I had to let's see that's my eBay order. So get a user. Uh, okay, so I had to get an authorization code from eBay, and then do uh, get a user no. Get an authorization code, and this one I actually I actually took a lot of stuff from uh, let's see I believe I grabbed it from I think it's one of Mark Krause's uh, the PSMS graph um, module if I remember correctly yeah yeah there it is and I can get I can get um, that can get really, really complicated. So, um, but there's a lot of folks that have have stuff on GitHub. So if you need something, you can usually find help for it. Um, let me switch back over to. Okay. Anyway, um, so I hit a brick wall uh, with not being able to do everything I wanted to do. But this stuff is all up on GitHub as of right now. Um, get a repo there is github.com slash deposhwolf slash psfreshdesk and last thing I wanted to do is don't need that anymore let me get agents grab that and get that committed And push that out as well. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, I'm a little disappointed that I, I forgot to check that ahead of time, but oh well. Things happen. Uh, anyway, uh, anyone anyone that's actually watching, uh, appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I'll post this up on YouTube. I'm probably going to uh, grab a couple of the places uh, where things were shown on screen that shouldn't have. I, I, you know, blur those out. But other than that, have a wonderful day. Oh, well, I guess we got to stop the stream, too. Oh, 